Alright guys, I'm going to show you how to get MPS Trainer to work with your Blue Burst. Um, my MPS Trainer is already set up, so I'm going to just leave these here. But I'm going to show you where you want to go. You just want to open up your Firefox. You're going to Google the home page of the website. And just Google it. <clears throat> Pick the top page. Alright, now normally you can look through this, you know. Uh, new items have been added this uh, August 14th, all that, you know. Click Forms. Mine is a little different, as you can see, because I'm logged in. If you're not a member of the, uh, you know, whatever you want to call this, uh, forms, don't worry about it. All right, you're gonna just go down to Fantasy Star Development, and then go to Skins. Then you'll want to just scroll down a little bit, and near the top is this MPS Trainer for both versions of it. And then you're gonna click on it, and then there's some topics right here about how to fix certain stuff. Do it. Just click right here just little MPS trainers now <clears throat> it's important you know which one you're on see this is version 0 0.3 that's the one we're on right now current up to date you can get the other versions for it if you're playing you know older one I don't really know if you are or not just download the zip better have zip you can close down the web browser now it's downloaded you go to downloads and then, oh, that's not downloads, it's videos. Alright, downloads. Trainer should be in this file, just extract here. Now, you can have this MPS trainer wherever you want. You can have it in here, or you can put it on the home page like I do on your uh, Windows. All you want to do now is uh, always run as administrator. Don't run it otherwise, or else it won't work. Now, the problem with the game is if you're playing the game in normal mode or widescreen mode in settings, you need to add the N or W to the end of this BB part. Now, I play normal, so I'm going to add an N, of course, like it is right there, as you can see. And then you're just going to just click Exit. It'll ask you to save. You save it. And then uh, all you want to do now is just run as administrator. Have this on before you open Blue Burst. Now you have all your characters you, know, you probably know about. And then just open up Blue Burst. Allow. Yes, I always get that error. I don't know why. That's what I was talking about right here. The wide and normal mode. That's what the N and W is for, just to make clarify. I normally play it now. After you get this all done, it'll be permanent, so you don't even have to do window mode. You can go full screen. You know, get better resolution, whatever you want to do. Just it's up to you. Start up the game with the trainer working. First thing you want to do is go straight for the dressing room. You want to pick your main character, or whatever you want to, you know, do. You bring him to the dressing room. It won't work unless you bring him to the You have to pretty much recreate the skin. Now, you just go to your MPS trainer. Click who you want to be. I'm um, gonna be Sonic, but my Sonic's gonna look like Shadow because I changed the skin of Sonic. It's Shadow a lot cooler. Then you just go back to your game, scroll all the way down, and you should have this uh, type right up here. It's a mystery question mark. Otherwise, normally if you don't have the right MPS trainer, it'll crash about here. Pick what server you want. Now your character is permanently going to look like Sonic or Tails or wherever you want to run. I like Shadow personally, my favorite. Now you can exit the game and your character will be permanently be Shadow or whoever you want to be. So you don't always have to load up a trainer one-time use unless you want to disable it or add other people so you look normal again whatever you want to do now I'm gonna just delete these because I don't need these but that's all you do, there is to it now if a new version of the game comes out your MPS trainer will probably stop working you'll have to get a new one but